Okay, hello everyone and welcome. So, uh, in the last class, we have already uh, discussed about uh, transformation of states of matter, how matter was changing from one state to another. So, uh, uh, sublimation, vaporization, condensation, and all we have already discussed in the last class, where I had showed it in the form of a flow chart. Okay, now. Uh, uh, today we will discuss about evaporation now uh, it's very simple actually most of you must be knowing uh, if you want to dry your clothes after washing right what happens so if you want to dry your clothes you keep it in the sunshine outside isn't it so you have made some arrangements for keeping your clothes outside isn't it so how does it happen actually you know uh, what happens is uh, when you have washed your clothes uh, you definitely you wash your clothes with liquid that is water isn't it so water is liquid so what happens is, is when heat is being absorbed when you expose it to sunlight your clothes to sunlight for drying it obviously how does that drying effect take place now that takes place in such a way and uh, what we know is we know from the very first lecture that particles in matter they are in constant random motion they are always moving so since the particles are always moving so the particles of liquid uh, are not so closely uh, packed like solid but they are uh, uh, you know the separation between the particles is uh, just a little bit uh, it is uh, the density is slightly less than that of uh, uh, you not slightly it's less than that of solids but it's greater than that of gases so what happens is if it is exposed to the sunlight so these particles which are on the surface okay the particles on the surface okay uh, they get excited so as they get excited, the inter uh, the inter particle separation increases. These these the inter particle separation increases. So as a result of which these uh, particles on the surface on excitation, uh, their so obviously their kinetic energy is increasing. So these particles are getting ex excited and the intermolecular forces of at attraction are being broken up. As a result of which these particles now start to vaporize isn't it so what is happening the liquid is getting converted into vapor state and that process is called evaporation okay now we are not boiling it right we are not boiling it we are not uh, letting this liquid which is present on the uh, you know cloth uh, cloth to uh, boil so that uh, uh, you know so that these particles are getting away uh, getting evaporated that is these particles are getting converted to vapor it is a surface phenomena now what is happening the particles are getting excited and as a uh, due to the increase in kinetic energy as a result of which the interatomic uh, the interparticle distance is in increasing and they are getting vaporized isn't it so basically what is happening is it's not necessary that we have to reach 100 degree celsius for that 100 degree celsius is the boiling point of water it's not necessary it can occur at any temperature that's what i am saying so uh, it's a surface phenomena so now uh, evaporation obviously evaporation causes cooling isn't it it's very obvious why it is obvious uh, you can take an example of uh, you wearing summer clothes in uh, sorry you wearing cotton clothes in summer isn't it why do you wear cotton clothes in summer cotton clothes in summer cotton clothes why do you wear it now what happens in summer you perspire more isn't it you keep on sweating isn't it so what happens is once you keep on sweating the particles on the surface they get excited just like this okay as a result of which they get evaporated now it does not look uh, it does not sound good now what happens is these cotton clothes they absorb the sweat they absorb the sweat from your body so they absorb the sweat from a body so it is in liquid state obviously sweat is in liquid state they absorb the sweat from your body now this liquid is evaporated it is vaporized okay now some amount of heat is being extracted from our body so that this liquid gets vaporized okay so that uh, heat is uh, that uh, what amount of heat is being required uh, extracted from our body that is called latent heat isn't it let you remember right latent heat is the amount of heat required to change the state right so this uh, liquid that is your sweat 
is absorbed by the cotton clothes and some amount of heat is absorbed from your body so that uh, what amount of heat that is the latent heat of vaporization so that this liquid gets vaporized and you feel cool isn't it so that is why we say evaporation causes cooling after sweating you must have realized no after sometimes you feel cool isn't it so that is the process cotton clothes they absorb your uh, you know sweat and some amount of heat what amount of heat that heat equal to the latent heat of vaporization is absorbed from your body as a result of which the particles get excited which particles the surface particles isn't it sweat is liquid so it gets vaporized it's very simple so basically what i'm trying to say is evaporation is a surface phenomena and we don't need to heat the substance we don't need to reach the boiling point 100 degrees celsius on the other hand boiling is a bulk phenomena bulk phenomena means all the particles they undergo boiling isn't it suppose if you take water in a you know beaker or whatever in a container you start heating it once you start heating it what happens is once you start heating it all the particles get excited isn't it and if a temperature of 100 degrees celsius is reached we say that the boiling point is attained and liquid is being converted into vapor there also isn't it because boiling is taking place here 100 degree celsius reaching of 100 degree celsius marks the point of boiling which is known as boiling point so basically bulk phenomena means all the particles are taking uh, part in the reaction okay okay so uh, hopefully this is clear what's the time six minutes okay okay so uh, i think uh, i wanted to discuss about the units of uh, temperature and pressure but I think uh, evaporation versus boiling that is very very important from your you know from your conceptual point of view also from your examination point of view also. So uh, we'll stop here. We'll continue in the next class.